Good evening, I'm George Mallet. Welcome to the Now Milwaukee. Tis the season for big spending and giving graciously. Still for a number of local charities, donation dollars are down. The Now's Lauren Winfrey is with us live with a few bell ringers who are doing all they can to make a push for donations before December 23rd. Yeah, George, would you just look at these volunteers ringing those bells so proudly? Well, the kettle campaign ends this year on the 23rd. That's a day earlier than usual, but that's because the eve is on a Sunday this year. But before they put those bells to bed, there's still time for you to get out and donate. It's a sound during the holiday season that many people know well. You've heard the bells, you see the kettles as you're out at the stores. Bells and kettles used for collecting dollars, Major Stephen Merritt says are vitally important to the Ministry of the Salvation Army both now and throughout the year. This is the time of year to continue to give. $5, $10, $20, it all adds up. But those dollars aren't rolling in as they have in years past. Major Merritt says with 200 sites across Milwaukee, the kettle campaign typically brings in about $500,000, but this year they're about $40,000 short and they aren't the only ones dealing with fewer donations. Frankly, we're not doing very well right now. There is the famous ham because everybody wants one. Sherry Tussler, director of the Hunger Task Force, agrees donations are down, but demand is still high. Across town, somebody maybe isn't as fortunate as you, and so it's time to be generous. Tussler says on any given month, you can find about 35,000 people standing in line at a food pantry in the city of Milwaukee, and the burden is the heaviest during the holiday season. That's why she's encouraging everyone to give. If you're thinking that you don't matter, or that your volunteer work doesn't matter, I'm here to say that it does, and we're encouraging people to get involved in stay involved. Now, Major Merritt with the Salvation Army speculates that because so many people gave, gave to hurricane relief, that's why numbers might be down. They still have to take a better look at those numbers when the campaign ends. But if you want to give to them or the Hunger Task Force and it's too cold to come out here and do it, you can always do it online or send a check in the mail. Reporting live at Mayfair Mall for the Now Milwaukee, I'm Lauren Winfrey. Lauren, really glad you're getting that message out there. Thank you.